What's up barbecue crew? Welcome back to Outdoors with Jeff. Today we're going to be doing a quick and easy recipe. We're going to be making some Korean barbecue flank and short ribs. Now the key to this is the marinade. That's where your flavor is going to come from because this is a really fast cook. My main ingredient in my marinade is Allegro soy and lime marinade. And I also came back and added some Spiceology Korean barbecue rub in there, in addition to a couple other items that I'm going to show you during the cook. I marinated these ribs overnight uh, for about nine hours, and we're going to get them on the char grill of acorn at about 475 degrees over direct heat. Afterward, we're going to glaze some of the ribs with Bachan's hot and spicy Japanese barbecue sauce. And it's got a nice little bit of flavor in there that'll give it extra kick, take it up a notch. Enough talking, let's get to the cook. So I started by putting the Allegro soy and lime marinade into a Ziploc bag. And I came back with one half cup of brown sugar, one third cup of honey, one tablespoon of sesame oil, and three tablespoons of the Spiceology Korean barbecue rub. And we're gonna go ahead and close that bag up and give that a good mix. So uh, afterward, we're going to go ahead and get all these short ribs in here. And we're gonna let these marinate overnight for about nine hours. So it's the following day and I went ahead and got these on a rack and I'm hitting them with more of the Korean barbecue Spiceology rub. And we're going to flip them and hit the other side as well. Now for today's cook, I'm using the good charcoal, premium lump charcoal, and we're getting this into the acorn and we're gonna get it up to a temperature of about 475 degrees. Now this is a very quick cook here. So you can see, we're gonna go ahead and get these grates greased up and we're gonna put these on and let them run for about three minutes on each side. And you can tell we got some great flavors. You can see those spices and that marinade is in there well, doing its job. After three minutes, it's time to flip. And you can see we're getting a good cook on this other side and we've got some great color, some great marks on there and that's gonna be full of flavor. So at this point, I'm going to glaze some of the ribs with the Bachan's Japanese hot and spicy barbecue sauce. And we're gonna let that glaze and tack up. And we got some great color on there and we've let these cook for another three minutes. So now it's time to go ahead and get these off. And this is what we ended up with. All right guys, the cook is officially done. Let's have a quick recap of what we did. We started by getting our marinade together, which consisted of the Allegro soy and lime marinade, three tablespoons of the Spiceology Korean barbecue rub, a half a cup of honey, one third cup of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of sesame oil. We got that marinade together, got the short ribs, and put them in there and let them marinate overnight for about nine hours. We got the char acorn up to 475 degrees along some cherry wood, and we cooked them on each side for about three minutes. And we also glazed some of them with the Bachan's hot and spicy Japanese barbecue sauce. And here we are. And I tell you what, it's a quick and easy cook. And at this point, there's nothing else left to do but a taste test on both of these and got a great aromas coming off of both so i'm gonna go ahead and try this one without the uh, barbecue sauce first mm. 
Now that's got some good flavor. Yeah. You taste every bit of that marinade and the rub and all that in there. Really good, really good. Let's go ahead and dig into this one with the barbecue uh, sauce on it as well. Now that's good, that's good. I like the hot and spicy. It really has a good, mm, I'm sorry. I like the hot and spicy. It really adds a good note to this cook. <clears throat> the brown sugar and the honey really kind of offset a little bit of the savoriness and the saltiness that you got with the soy. And it came together really well. Um, this rub, uh, I tasted this rub alone, and you definitely can taste it in these uh, in these short ribs here. But really good um, all together. This thing is a you know great combination of flavor profiles, and it doesn't take long at all to cook. So give this one a try, and be sure and let me know what you think in the comments. But that's all I got. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Outdoors with Jeff. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications when more content comes out. And also check out these videos here on the channel as well.